guys, Becky here with Creative Fabrica and I'm super excited to have you join me today because we have another great Silhouette Studio tutorial for you. And if you like Silhouette Studio tutorials, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. But today guys, we are working with a family clip art bundle. And if you're not quite sure what that is, then definitely make sure you check it out. All right guys, so here we are on the Creative Fabrica website, and I'm really excited to show you how to work with this type of bundle today. Um, I'm just gonna call it a family clip art bundle. And when I come to the Creative Fabrica website and I search for family clip art, then, then these bundles are what pop up. And as you can see, there are quite a few to choose from. Now I have already chosen one. There we go. And let me just show you, I just want to show you some of what we're dealing with and why it can be intimidating to learn how to use them because you have all different elements. You're literally piecing together a bundle based on skin tone, shirt color, hairstyle, hair color. I mean, there are a lot of options to choose from and obviously they give you some really great examples, but these make really awesome um, gifts and home decor which I know I say that about a lot of things, but really I've made this for, you know, my husband and the boys. I've made this for myself and my daughter. I've made family ones. They're just really, really cute. And of course they make really good friend bundles. I mean, I just really can't say enough about using this type of clip art and the fact that it's so customizable yet so easy at the same time. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. But let's go ahead and download this bundle. Now this is part of my um, Creative Fabrica membership, my subscription. So of course it's really a steal of a price. Um, so let's go ahead and let it download and then we're going to open that up in File Explorer because we do need to unzip it, all right? It comes as a zipped file because obviously there are a lot of different elements that are contained in one file. All right, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I have, let me show you, a button right here that says extract all. Now I'm on a Windows PC. So if you are also on a Windows PC, you should see something exactly like that, or at least very similar. Um, if you are on a MacBook, then it may look a little bit different for you. Now, after the extraction is complete, we can go back into our downloads and we'll see that we have, this is our zipped folder. If we scroll down, this is our unzipped folder. So we can delete the zipped folder. We actually don't need it anymore. And here I'm going to make this a little bit larger. And I can double click right here and get started to show you. So we have baby, kid, kids, men, and women. So if we go to women, just as an example, you'll start to see the different hairstyles. You should start to see, um, you know, the different... Uh, let's see, we have this one looks like body styles. Yep, there we go. Shirts, skin tone. Here's another one. So also it's going to matter in how your family is positioned, whether you know you need the arms, don't need the arms, need the sleeves, those sorts of things. So definitely a lot of options. Now I'm going to work with this in Silhouette Studio. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and head over into the software and I'm going to show you more about pulling in these elements, also arranging them, and uh, we'll talk about some of the projects you can make with them. All right, so here we are in Silhouette Studio and you'll see I still have my window open here. And what I wanna show you is it's just really easy to be able to drop and drag, but I do recommend for you to go through the um, all the different folders and see the different options that are available uh, because you kind of want to have an idea of what you're looking for otherwise you'll just end up you know going through over and over and over so I want to I'm just gonna keep it simple I'm gonna do a design of uh, myself and my daughter so let's go ahead I do want the woman with the arm okay and we are definitely of the pale variety, so I can just drag and drop this clip art over into Silhouette Studio. Now I know it comes in rather large, okay, and we can be prepared for that, um, but what I like to do is I like to wait until all my pieces are in before I start sizing anything down, okay? So if I need to rearrange, I can. I can slide her out of the way and then pull up my File Explorer window again. And let's pick out a shirt color. Dun, dun, dun. 
you know what I will do pink and I'm just gonna try to not put it right in the way all right now let's go up a folder level and I need to choose my hair and I have really dark hair so again just drag and drop and I'll just continue to do this for every piece and I need some bottoms okay so let's zoom out and I'll just go ahead and show you so literally you're just going to overlap the pieces and you'll see how well they fit I mean they really really do and then of course you can decide um, you know how you want them layered but obviously you can tell the shirt is supposed to go on top so select the shirt and you can use your shortcut buttons over here and bring to bring to front okay and then I can put my hair in place and I'm gonna do the same thing click the hair bring to front okay so I'm pretty much complete now you'll notice remember silhouette studio has that auto trace feature so I do get a red outline around all of these pieces so I can select them all and change that outline to transparent and it just you know they're not gonna print or anything but it just I don't know makes me feel like I get a real image of what it's gonna look like okay so let's open up the file Explorer window again and I'm going to go back up and we will go to kit. All right, so from here, I need to start off with a body style. Let's see what we have. I think all of these have the arm to the side, so I must be in the wrong one. There we go. So I'm going to select the ones with no arms out. So just drag and drop. We'll give her a braid. And... Let's see, I will give her a purple shirt and some bottoms. Okay, so let's go ahead and arrange them all together. Okay, so I'm gonna say shirt to front and then hair to front. And I can go ahead and group that together. And my daughter's a little bit older, so I'll make her a little bit bigger. And slide her in, and then I'm going to send to back so that my arm is around her. All right, scrunch us in close together because we are just the cutest. And make sure we turn that line to transparent. And there we go. So basically, I mean, for a basic design, this part's done. So obviously the more people you add, the more complicated it gets. But in the big scheme of things, I mean, putting these bundles together, like I said, when you already have an idea for, you know, what you have in mind, what you want it to look like, then finding, you know, that starting place and just start adding the layers is really relatively easy. So let's group these together and then we can size them down. So the only reason I don't like sizing ahead of time is just because I do, um, you know, all the pieces fit together. Okay. So let's make this, uh, let's say nine inches high, maybe eight and let's zoom back in. There we go. So we can center our design and let's see, let's type out just a little bitty quote and we'll just say best friends. So I will fill this with black remove that red outline and then I can choose any font that I want and the great thing is once I have set up this design I can literally use it for just about anything so you know if I did sublimation I could put this on a shirt if I worked with cards I could print this out and make a handmade card with it if I did scrapbooking this is really really great for that because you can make some really cute page decorations and elements I mean, really, you know, when I say unlimited, it's very few times when really it gets more versatile than being able to create your own style and your own clip art like this and piece together the pieces that mean the most to you to create a final image. So these also do really good around the holidays because there are holiday versions where you can do, you know, Christmas trees in the backgrounds and stockings and, you know, different Christmas sweaters and whatnot. I mean, they really, I love looking at these bundles and I love working with them and I just can't say enough how much I really enjoy them. So hopefully you enjoy them too. I definitely recommend you giving them a try, especially because if you already have the subscription to Creative Fabrica, then you don't really have anything to lose. It's not some big purchase that you have to worry about. Um, but this is a brief tutorial on how you put together family clip art bundles. 
So guys, how did you feel about learning more about using that family clip art to make your own little artwork? Now, I think that it's super cute. Like I said, there's really a lot of applications that you can use it for, a lot of really great projects. One of my favorites that I forgot to mention is being able to put it on canvas, whether you use sublimation or whether you send it off for printing. So. Of course, if you have any questions or comments, definitely make sure you leave those down below. I do love hearing from you guys. I love helping you any way I can. And in return, if you don't mind, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and maybe share with a crafty friend. Guys, I really love all the love that you show for the channel to help us grow, and we just want to continue to grow so that we can keep bringing you these really awesome tutorials. But for today, guys, I am going to wrap it up. Thanks again for stopping by. I do really appreciate it, and we'll see you again next time.